You know, recently they began to toy with another idea, the monkeypox. I told you that one was dead on arrival. They don't know what to do with that now because they got caught. They don't know what to do with it. They, they had planned it. They planned out exactly what they were going to do. But it's a debacle. Yes, sir. And I, I saw this uh, news piece from uh, Love World UK. Let, let's show it to you. Outbreak has been all over the news lately. For many, it has instilled fear and not much information is available to you, the public, except for what is constantly being pushed by the mainstream media. But let's take a look at some key interesting facts. Just last year, now, the pause. Munich security... Pause. Just so you know, the information that he's given you is very accurate. I, I did a research on this before, and um, when I saw it, I was very glad because this article really puts it together. So I really want you to follow the information being given you here. But let's take a look at some key interesting facts. Just last year, the Munich Security Conference held a simulation, a pandemic exercise simulation. And the virus that was simulated last year was monkeypox. And the date given for the outbreak in the simulation was this year's May 2022, the exact date the first official monkeypox case in the world was confirmed. Stop. You see, they, they can't even... <laughs> like the 33, 33, 33, 33. You know, they are so uninnovative. And that's how they want the whole world to be. They want us to be part of their group think. So someone gives us a script and we've got to follow it. They, they demand absolute obedience without question. They don't want you to think. You are, you are supposed to have no mind because that's the way they are. Satan runs them. Satan runs them. But Jesus makes men free. Now just look at that. They plan it like that in the script. They fix a date, and that's exactly what it turns out to be. And then we go into history. It's not hard to get them. It's not hard. It's not hard to, to get them, to discover their folly. Not hard at all. How could all the countries have 33, 33, 33 at the same time? And not only did they do that in 2020, more recently they did the same thing. And with this fuck, these uh, uh, monkeypox, they did exactly the same thing again. Same numbers being found in different cities. Anyway, let's go on with this. <laughs> the world was confirmed. And it's just like COVID. Just months, interestingly, before COVID-19 broke out worldwide, in October 18th, 2019, event 201 happened, a controlled simulation of a coronavirus outbreak that mirrored what later a followed volume. just weeks and months ahead. The people involved in these controlled simulations are also the health protagonists leading, heading the pandemic safety measures, such as the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the World Economic Forum, Same and the big groups. pharma executives. Same Interestingly, the monkeypox simulation, the death rate displayed for 2023 was 271 million. If you try to inform yourself on these things, on this subject of monkeypox, etc., all the information you would find most likely is this. More cases, more outbreaks, Belgium introducing 21-day quarantine when there are no reported deaths. You'll find information producing fear and even experimental vaccines already against smallpox being rolled out to try and counter monkeypox. 
Then you also have the debunkers of conspiracy theories. Just like during COVID-19, doctors paid to debunk misinformation and anyone who opposes them is banned, censored or discredited. An example of this is Robert W. Malone, a widely persecuted medical doctor who also invented mRNA and DNA vaccines during COVID. Now, this is what he says. American mainstream outlets breathlessly covering the virus should be reprimanded for broadcasting irresponsible propaganda misinformation and disinformation under the guise of journalism. This monkeypox virus and disease, which he says is endemic in Africa, meaning it's not a threat, is readily controlled by classical public health measures. Dr. Malone adds that this monkeypox does not have a high mortality rate. It's an insignificant biothreat, has never been considered a high threat pathogen in the past. But of course, this is not what the mainstream news are saying. Now, mainstream news outlets, reporters and doctors are using highly grotesque monkeypox images to inflate the perceived threat level. But those are old photos from CDC archives and Getty images. And according to the World Council for Health, they are not representative of current international cases of monkeypox. This same WCH also addresses the monkeypox vaccines, which the WHO is trying to roll out. And the WCH say these vaccines have no rational scientific basis for having people vaccinated for smallpox in order to prevent monkeypox. The Biden administration proposed major amendments to the international health regulations aiming to give global total power to the World Health Organization, the WHO. This means the WHO would be able to declare in any country of the world a health emergency without the country's consent. Well, that one has been defeated now. This pact. All right, we, you can stop. That, that last one has been completely defeated. Very interesting. What a word, right? Yes. Interesting times. Yes, sir. Praise God.